Hey, how's it going? Let's go over how to draw a chibi, uh, chibi style T-Rex, uh, chibi style dinosaur, but specifically the T-Rex. Uh, it's gonna be squatty and short and pretty adorable, I think. Uh, cute. All right, let's get started, okay? First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start with the top of the head. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna curl over here for the top of the head. I'm gonna angle it down just a bit for the front of the head there, front of the, front of the head basically. Out over here for the top of the snout area. I'm gonna curve over here this direction. Like so. Okay, so we got that so far, the top of the head. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna pull a curve for the back of the head. But if you love dinosaurs, by the way, um, you know, say hi, say what's up. Hey, I love dinosaurs. Uh, Dinosaurs are pretty much my favorite thing. Uh, I collect tons and tons and tons of dinosaur figures. Uh, I have them all over me in front of my desk. Uh, just to prove that, I'm gonna pull one right out from here. Bam. I have, a di I have dinosaur figures all over the place. It actually became kind of an unhealthy obsession. Uh, curve here for the bottom of the neck. So yeah, <laughs> now you know something about me. That is one of my, I was even made fun of for it. And this is like, you know, right now as an adult. <laughs> Curve over here for kind of the chest of the T-Rex. And we're gonna pull down here for kind of the lower body. Right on. Gonna go right here for, and I'm gonna curve over here for the thigh area. Curve for the thigh. All right, before we do that, let's go back to the face here, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a zigzag shape right here for the top row of teeth. Open underneath, up. Zigzag over here. I'm gonna throw the tongue over here in the mouth. Curve right there for the tongue. And then curve right here for the back of the mouth over there. And I'm going to fill that area in. That's like the back of his cheek there. And it's uh, in darkness pretty much. Curve down over here for the bottom of the jaw. And I'm going to pull back over here. Right on. Let's go over here and draw the nostril. And then we're gonna go right here and draw the eye. Curve. And then curve underneath. All right, I'm gonna put a circle maybe right there, but we're gonna fill in the entire eye dark otherwise. That's just gonna be the highlight. It's gonna fill it in. If you like learning how to draw stuff, uh, hit the subscribe and click the bell notification. I have tons of different dinosaurs, realistic to more cartoony, uh, pretty much all over the map, um, and many different versions of some of those dinosaurs as well. Well, So you can also check that out in the playlist. Um, there's, like I said, more realistic stuff like a Jurassic Park, and then more uh, like chibi stuff like this as well. Uh, the other thing I really want you to do is, if you like this kind of like cute style, ch pick up the free ebook. Uh, it's completely free. I'm going to put that in the description as well, if you can find it in the description. Because uh, I think it's in there. I forget which link it was. But it is a free how to draw cute ebook, right? So how do you draw something, take something, right, that's normal and make it attract, like cute, attractively cute, whatever. Um, you change proportion, and that's a big part of it. It's not just shrinking the, like the whole body. You make the eye bigger in proportion to the head. Stuff like that, but I, I make charts about it, so um, it's in that ebook. Um, super, super simple. Like once you see it, you'll understand it. Um, but yeah, uh, there you go. That's completely free. That's pretty much my gift to you guys. Um, there you go. Out over here, the hand. Out over here, the hand. Pull back over here. Down. Down for the foot, and then we're gonna. Curve, curve, curve. Right there for the foot, right, the toes. Gonna go to the far end over here, pull the, like the far end thigh. Down over here. And then same thing with the 
fingers there, the, the toes. Line over here. Right on. Now I'm gonna go over and I'm going to draw a the tail. The tail is gonna be pretty short. Let's curve it up. Go over here, and it's not gonna be very long, right? A lot of the features are underdeveloped, and that's kind of the point of this. Oops, Daisy. Moving this thing around. Right on. So uh, we can draw like the other brow on the other side. And then I guess I could make the mouth, like right here, I think the mouth needs to be a little deeper. So I'm gonna pull that tongue down a bit and fill in the back there. So it really looks like he's, you know, happy or roaring or just kind of carrying on. Carrying on, right? That's kind of what we want. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple of folding lines right here underneath the neck. That's always a good idea, even for something chibi. Same thing over here. And uh, maybe we can throw some s very light spots on, on him. Very light spots. Same thing over here in the back of the head. Make it look like it's going around the corner right there, right? By doing that. And you could throw like a line here a little bit. Nothing too crazy. But that is pretty much it um, for the most part. I'm gonna throw a thicker line around him because you guys know I like doing that because I think it just makes it look better when you throw a thicker line around the contour. There you go. Curve over here, out. Curve right here, down, curve. But yeah, while I'm doing that, I'll talk to you a little bit. Um, if you want to improve drawing in general, um, you know, like I said, you could subscribe. Um, when you when you subscribe and you have like a how-to drawing lesson, whether you do it or not, even just kind of having it in your mind, like through osmosis, will make you a little tiny, tiny bit better. Having that stuff at the surface of your mind will have that tiny bit of an improvement, I've noticed, at least with me. So even if I watch demonstrations or something like that, um, it'd be better if I draw every day, which I do, but even watching demonstrations really, really, it makes me think about the process more. Um, and it will actually improve me. I've noticed that through the year by like tiny, tiny little fragments. Um, I think the worst thing would be if, and I've experienced this in the past is if you, you know, it's like a year from now and you are still kind of like, oh, I'll get started drawing or I'll get started, you know, really learning something. Um, and that's the worst feeling because I've been through that. Um, but like what I had to do was kind of fully engross myself in the stuff, in, in art, even though I wasn't, uh, even when I wasn't drawing as much. But, and it, it just starts to sink in. But anyways, but yeah, that stuff, being around an art community, kind of like having this stuff at your fingertips, um, really, really helps out if that's kind of something you want to do, but. Curl over here, and that's pretty much it. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you in the next video, okay? Stay frosty.